Hey YouTube, it's Neil again from Blinklight TV and I've got a really quick super unboxing for you today. Uh, I was in Asda doing my shopping, uh, saw this, thought yep I'll get hold of that and as I've got to open it anyway I might as well do a quick unboxing video for you. So it's going to be super quick. The dog's decided he's going to join me today so if you see him moving around that's all it is. I'm not, uh, th there's no spiritual forces around here. So we'll get on with the boxing. What we've got, if you can see it well, we've got the, where can I hold it? The Warm Light Flat Fan Heater, 2000 watts, um, say in Asda, saw it, I thought, yep, yeah, okay, I'm going to get that. You can probably see I'm not in the lounge at the moment. I've actually moved into uh, my little workshop stroke shed. And the reason I've got this one is because the shed's actually in two halves. Now at the moment we're in uh, the front half, which I've been using at the moment, but as things have started to expand, um, I've decided I'm, I'm going to move into the other half. Now we had a bit of a, a leak with the roof over the winter, um, so things got very damp, so it needs drying out. Now I'm using the Warm Light uh, Big Brother at the moment, the oil filled radiator. It's a 600 watt unit. And it's doing a really great job at drying the place out and keeping it warm and condensation free. So I've got this one because obviously this one is going to be direct heat and airflow. So hopefully it's going to do a good job of drying out the other half of the shed. So we can then uh, get started doing some, hope. well I'm hoping to do some videos on actually converting it for the Blink Light TV channel. Um, the plan is to convert it into uh, like a, a workshop studio. Um, for Blink Light to, to do some podcasting in and some obviously the review and tutorial videos. I also do amateur radio, so we're hoping to do some videos on amateur radio as well, uh, out in the field, um, some projects, just general operating. So anyone interested in amateur radio, stay tuned. Hopefully, you can have some videos for you as well. But today, I say super quick video because there's not an awful lot I can say about this. But we're going to quickly open the box, have a look at what's in the uh, the contents. Plug it in next door and we're going to see how long it takes to heat uh, the room up to an acceptable temperature. Set the thermostat and then we're going to set it on like a timer so it comes on uh, periodically through the day and hopefully it starts to dry the room out. So let's pop this box open first. Okay, as you would expect, we have a heater. And we have the instructions. Now I'm not really going to read the instructions at the moment because at the end of the day it's a fan heater. So it's going to be a case of turn it on, heats up and when it's at the right temperature you turn it down until it turns off. So let's have a look at the unit itself. Okay. Quite a wide, I don't know if you can see that very well on the video, quite a wide front on it quite nice. Um, reasonably lightweight actually, which um, I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing at the moment, so that that's uh, something we'll have to wait and see. But uh, on the top you've got your two main controls. Bottom one appears to be fan speed, top one is your temperature control. I'd say relatively light, you know, I mean I can hold it comfortably one-handed, so uh, hopefully that's a, that's a reasonable thing. Heating element in the front, fan motor in the bottom. So yeah, so far so good. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll take it next door, plug it into the main part of the shed and see what we've got. Okay, so as you can see, yep, all damp and still full of junk. Nowhere near ready yet to be even started to convert but I can't do anything until I try and warm the place up I mean I don't know if you can that's from my breath so you can imagine how damp and cold it is in here um, so what we're going to do i just got this propped up at the moment we're, we're going to do a few tests on it um, hope it's going to be okay just, just looking at it it should be alright just move a few things out of the way Ultra professional as always. Let's get that up there out of the way. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. A nice soggy wet box. 
that's what we don't want, of course, is to run the risk of that doing anything it shouldn't. So we'll if I decide it, I'll take you with me. The places I take you, eh? There we go. Right. Let's get back in the shed again. Get this heat turned on. And find out what it can do. So, I've got the temperature turned up at the moment. So we're just going to whack it on to full speed. And see what we can see. Okay, well I can instantly tell you that even in this literally a couple of seconds the element started to heat up which is great you can really feel the heat um, nothing appears to be rising at the moment which is good so what we're just going to do we're just going to pull the door to if I can if I not shut it because that's the other thing I've got a problem with in this room it's uh, has a nasty habit of um, the door not shutting properly. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to make you uh, stand and watch this as I heat the place up. So um, I'm just going to pause the video, do a quick timer, and see how long it takes to get this room to a, temp a reasonable temperature. Okay, so we're back inside now. Um, it's The shed is warm, yeah. It's, it's definitely warmed up. Uh, it's taken about 30 minutes to do. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes. I've been checking it religiously because I've been doing a few other things at the same time. But um, yeah, roughly 30 minutes. My only concern, and I'll be honest, is it's been running, as I said, <clears throat> since just before 10 o'clock and it's now uh, 10.40. So it's been running for about, we'll, we'll say an hour, 50 minutes to an hour. Now the, the plug um, is actually getting quite warm and that is concerning me somewhat, especially as I'm going to have to run it unattended. Which I know before anyone says anything you're not supposed to do, but when I'm trying to dry the shed out, I need to run it unattended on a timer plug. So my concern is, I don't want the plug getting hot. Um, now I agreed it's set on the thermostat at the moment, so I'm hoping it does turn itself back on obviously as the temperature starts to drop, because um, it, it, it's, uh, it's off at the moment. So hopefully as it cools down, it turns itself back on. So it's not going to be running continuously for the entire time it's on its timer plug, especially during the day. Um, and, well, I mean, we're into uh, winter March now, so I'm hoping the weather starts to warm up anyway, and it's uh, less, you know, less reliant on it. But, yeah, that is my only concern. That plug is getting rather warm. Um, so I just need to keep my eye on that, uh, make sure it's OK. Because the last thing I need to do is burn my shed down. It's not really going to sort of... So any problems I did it, but um, yes, on the whole, as I said, as a heater, and if you're using it attended, so you're actually there at the time you're using it, um, it's actually a very nice little unit, it's, uh, the heat's instant, it, I mean it doesn't help with me, I, I, as you can imagine, I'm using it in an uninsulated shed, so it's, it's having to work a bit of overtime anyway, and uh, it was running flat out, so that could explain why the plug's getting hot, I mean it's a 2000 watt unit, um, as I said, it, it, it's running flat out, so uh, I just I just need to keep my eye on that. As I said, it is turned down at the moment on the thermostat, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, first impressions, uh, warm light, flat um, fan heater, gets a thumbs up. Brilliant. Okay, super quick closing video, just to show you how it's gone. As you can probably tell from the, uh, from the weather, if we can focus. Obviously it's a few months later than when I filmed the first one. And we'll just see how well it's done. Excuse the mess. Believe it or not things have tidied up but more mess has come in. Heat has worked absolutely fantastically. Now I know it is late in the year so for those of you who don't believe me the heater did do most of this. As you can see there's a few marks still. Well, on the whole, this shed is now completely dry. I have cleared the mould myself. OK, 
came in here with uh, mould remover and basically scraped it all out. You can see all that's gone. But as for drawing the shed out, I have to give credit my credit's due. There it is. Pride of Playstyle. It's absolutely worked fantastically. Hooked it up to a timer plug. Ran the timer plug um, on off every hour or two hours. And regarding the overheating issue I was experiencing before, the way around that, then if I can get close enough because I've got things in the way, as always in sheds. Let's just see if we can lean over. On the top, you've got the two fan controls. Now, I had it set to fan two. Now, what that actually means is this it's a two kilowatt fan. So, when ran on setting two, it's running the full two kilowatts. Set on setting one, it runs at one kilowatt. Running through a timer plug, timer plugs don't like running at two kilowatts. Knock it down to a kilowatt and leave it on the timer plug and the plug stayed absolutely stone cold it was brilliant uh, ran it as I said every other hour shed stayed relatively warm that's with no insulation at all and um, obviously it's going to push your electricity bill up a bit I mean that's to be understood but the plan is to obviously put insulation into the shed and put boarding on the walls stop the creaky door and so this time next year, after the, uh, this year's winter, 2014 winter, hopefully I won't be using the fan heater as such. The fan heater will be just as a backup power uh, heating supply. I'm going to get another one, the 600 watt um, oil filled radiators. Put two of them in here because I've already got the one next door. So run another one in here and that should, in theory, keep this nice and toasty, nice and warm. Going to connect them both to some form of thermostatically controlled plug, so uh, they'll both switch on when they're needed and only when they're needed. So, uh, all in all, it should be good. So, yes, as for the warm lights air fit um, flat fan heater, it gets a serious big thumbs up from Blink Light TV, and I'd recommend it to anyone. Until next time, have a good one, and see you later.